At some point, one of the officers shoots Kinsey, but he survives and speaks with Fox Station WSVN from his hospital bed, Watch recounting this. what he told that officer. And I'm telling him again, sir, there's no need for a firearm. I'm unarmed. He's an artistic guy. He had a toy truck in his hand. When he hit me, I'm like, I still got my hands in there. I said, no, I just got shot. And I'm standing there, I'm like, sir, why did you shoot me? And his, ex and his words to me, he said, I don't know. Stop. Video of the act. Yo. If you don't realize the most high is just constantly, it's half half things happening, and you don't realize, he's like, I don't know. I don't even know why I shot you. This man on the ground holding his hand up. But here's the thing, though. I, I'm, br I'm bringing it back to the, um, the, the football player. He kneeling for something like that. That's a social issue. That, when people understand, people have to understand something. You, you look at this. This man, if that wasn't on camera, how would we have known about that? <sighs> Boy, I tell you the truth. And you have these type <laughs> of instances, we still worried about other folks. Yep. We still worried about other people. Go to the comment boards. Just give me a screenshot. Go live to our comment boards. I got to put somebody out there today. That's sad. You got instances like this, and we're telling our people, hey, man, we got to come together. We got to make sure that we're taking care of our communities and everything else. And you still have the same instances going on over and over again with people asking these type of questions. We're going to put them out there. What, what's his name? Robert? S scroll up. Let me see if it's scroll up in him. You might have to zoom in on him, too. Yeah. Let's scroll down. Um, it might be at the top. Go way up. Go way up. Just go right. Just go all the way up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, zoom in on that person. Yeah, scroll, scroll over so they can see it. Can you? Can they see this? Okay, that's fine. Go to his question. Go up. Uh, yeah, right there. That's what I want right there. Robert Anderson, you have an epic <laughs> film. <laughs> Mr. Anderson. You hear that, Mr. Anderson? That is the sound of inevitability. sound of your death. Goodbye, Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Yeah, you and your friend uh, Andrew Hooper. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you have an epic fail. And here's why you have a fail, so We're communicating why do we have hate for ourselves and our nation. And you, sir, are the epitome of that. We're not even talking about this. And here we go again with the questions. And so is everybody an Edomite? <laughs> this show you the highest level of Stockholm Syndrome that you ever could have. Why is he asking this? We're showing you how our people are having ill will in their minds, even in communicating love to their own children and everything else. And here we go, Mr. Anderson. Is everybody eating ice? What was his next silly little question? <laughs> Let me see what he did. So somebody said, uh, that's the nationality of the so-called white man. DeRay told him that. He said, strange. <laughs> like he don't know nothing. No, he be on, the, if you go to his page, you see him talking about he want to battle Hebrew, Israelites. That's how you know. The first sign of some, you know somebody don't know nothing is when they say black Hebrew Israelites. That's when you know, just throw him to the garbage can. You don't really know much. Then what else he said? And now he asking who was Herod? Then who's Agrippa? He's asking these questions. 
He on a whole different scheme. Sir, we invite you to Friday night. We have dealt with this so many times. See, these guys, they, they don't understand. We've been to seminary. We took seminary courses. We have discussed with theologians, yep. scholars. These are easy questions. The thing is, he going to want to know, so why were they over the Jews and things of that nature? We got you. Very easy. Guarantee you're going to have to pick your study up, though. Yeah, you better Friday night, 1030. But, but here's what's sad about it. This is a whole different topic. Right. Why is he even bringing it? I mean, here we're dealing with some issues dealing with our people directly. This man has a nerd talking about something that's totally off topic. It's foolishness. And we don't say black Hebrew Israelite. We actually hate that term. Exactly. We hate because no such thing as a black Hebrew Israelite. It's the Israelites, period. So we don't use nothing. Show us any video that we say we are the black Hebrew Israelites. Now, because you just bear false witness as an elder or pastor, you bear false witness. You said you used to say black Hebrew Israelites. When? Produce it. Produce it. Produce it. Well, what you have is, Mr. Uh, Anderson, you have an epic failure. You are the person that has failed today because we are, dis we are discussing the plight of our people. And only thing you care about is worrying about the so-called white man. Exactly. Worrying about the so-called white man. So are you coming on Friday or not? Yeah, You're talking. Too. We give you the invite. Have a respectful dialogue. Friday night, 1030. Yes or no? Yes or no. We don't do a lot of talking. Just come on and we can discuss this. We don't got to go back and forth over Facebook or message whatever this is. Let's do it like men, face to face, live. Plain and simple. Yay or nay. Put your answer in the comment board. Lamentation chapter 2. Let's proceed. <laughs> Lamentation chapter 2. But you say it. But you say it. Say it. That's just show you. He don't really even know what he's dealing with. See, a lot of times what happened with these guys, they go to defunct Israelites that really somehow just magically started studying or maybe studied three or four years or whatever and then they go to them and they pick them for information and the guys are doing the best that they can i'm not knocking what brothers may be doing but the point is now when it comes time for the really step up uh mr anderson we're going to see if you're going to really t step up if you're not going to step up then just go scurry along with whatever madness you're in you i guarantee you uh now, now you got pride. He give us the invite. Listen, we don't play that prideful stuff. We in Christ. Ain't no pride over here. Ain't no, he, now he give us the invite. See, that's when you got our people who think they better than us. Right. We, we, we know those spirits. See, when you say black Hebrew is like, you're dealing with a whole different, a whole different monster when you come this way. A whole different monster when you come this way. Believe that. So, now nah, you come on this form. You ask the question, come on this form. We reject your invitation. You came to us, so come on this form. Boy, I tell you the truth. I tell you, boy, Two fourteen. Have, have a nerve, bro. <laughs> Amazing. Um, the Book of Lamentations, chapter two, verse fourteen. Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things Just for thee. Me. Come on. And they have not discovered thine iniquity. They have not discovered thine iniquity. That's what he's getting conked on his head with now. He called himself a pastor, a man of the Lord. You're not, what's the iniquity of our people? Why, why are our people the ones being shot down, killed in the streets? Who are they biblically? What it's, who are the, did God name them? You got a problem with yourself. That's self-hate. Yep. You're seeing self-hate. He ain't on uh, the so-called white man's channel right now. Nope. The so-called white man going to spew every whim of rhetoric he has. The so-called white man, Mr. Anderson, is shooting and killing folks in the name of Christ. Are you on their platform telling them that they're wrong? No, you're not. You have self-hate. Read. To turn away thy captivity, but have seen for thee false burdens. False burdens. False burdens. Come on. And causes of banishment. Come on. All that pass by 
clap their hands at thee. Come on. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem. And they hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem. They look at us and go, that's a shame. Look at, how come you got videos uh, of, of the media showing our people lying dead on the streets all day, every day? Come on. Say, is this the city that men called the perfection of beauty? So beforehand in Samuel, he's saying the beauty of Israel is slain upon the high places. Now he's showing you, is this the city that people call the perfection of beauty? Is this what God's people really look like? It's a shame. Come on. The joy of the whole earth, mm. all thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. All our enemies have opened their mouths against us. When you look at the plight of our people, historically, we've been in captivity after captivity. But yet you got a person like this that will come on and spew out poisonous rhetoric. The Edomites. You ask, I bet you any money, he come on the show, we're going to ask you how did we come to the conclusion of the Edomites. Yep. So tell the people the truth you called before and got biblically checked. I don't know. Who he's, I don't even know what he's even talking about. I don't know. Hey, who, who is this dude, man? <laughs> Captain Stockholm. Okay. Let's <laughs> read again. Okay. The book of Lamentations, chapter 2, verse 16. All thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. If, if, pr please produce evidence if you say I called your show or whatever it is, and got biblically checked, please put it out there because at the end of the day, I would like to see that. He said he met with some of our adherents in Detroit. Well, you ain't meet with us. No. <laughs> if, if you even met with some of our adherents in Detroit, you ain't meet with us yet. No, 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 no. And I think you got the wrong group. Right. Honestly, honestly speaking, we right. got a couple brothers out there, and I think you got the wrong group. Right. This is a mistake that I I, I love to always say to the to the ignorance. When you are when you are uh, wanting to put your chest out, and you like, oh, you know what? Yeah, I went to uh, I, I I I you put ISOC up there. Yeah, you know what? I crushed ISOC. Please. Come up to the juggernaut. Come up to the high. Don't say you fought uh, Tyson's sparring partner. <laughs> Don't do that. That's not going to work. Come all the way up and then be like, oh, you know what? Then, okay, I dealt with y'all. So, again, so, again, we're asking him to come off. If you're not going to come off, we're just going to block you off the comment board. Right. Ain't no need to keep writing comments, and that's girly stuff. Who does that? We gave you the invitation. If you reject it, move on. That's how, that's how men do it. If men go in battle, they're going to battle. Ain't come over here, come over there. We just told you to come on Friday night. If you reject, say you reject, and then move on. Right. That's it. That's it. Move on. Don't be a girl about it. Say you Don't nervous be girly, you man. You ain't dealing with little weak church so-called Christian boys, man. Just say you scared and just move on. It's the end. <laughs> right. <laughs> Read it again. Lamentations, chapter 2, verse 16. All thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. That's for our people. And you still going back and forth talking about, you know what, uh, Edomite, Herod, who's a gripper. You're trying to go to these simple little topics that you think you got some point on it. We already know what you're really trying to say right there. But at the end of the day, you have to realize we are not even on that subject. Right. But you have been so eloquently inserted into the class to show Stockholm Syndrome now. Now you are a part of this topic. You really hate yourself. Right. Read. They hiss and gnash the teeth. They say, we have swallowed her up. Come on. Certainly, this is the day that we look for. Now, go to Proverbs 20 and 29, because this is the sad thing about this, y'all. Our older men, because this is an older man. Our older men, you have that you you folks that are in you older church going brothers. Let's use them. Degree from Esau, yeah, a degree from Esau. 
You have legitly failed. You have a failure. You have let down your people because the shouldn't it be that the older men, you look to them and you go, you know what? I'd rather respect him at the highest level. He got so much wisdom and so much knowledge to show us how to be, to, 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 to navigate through this. Even Eleazar was 90 years old. Check him out in the Bible. Eleazar was an older man who said, to hell with that. I am not going to sell my people out. Right. That's a man of God that stood for principles. Let's find out if he's going to stand for principles. Mm. Look Eleazar up if you don't know who he is. He don't. He, I, well, he probably think you. He probably think you. You talking about an Edomite baker? Or right. Something. Exactly. <laughs> you want Proverbs twenty twenty nine? Okay. Proverbs chapter twenty and verse twenty nine. The glory of young men is their strength. So the glory of a young man is their strength, definitely. Read. And the beauty of old men is the gray head. And the beauty of the of a old man is, is their gray head. I Meaning it should show forth wisdom and knowledge. But not doing this, it's not you're not showing nothing. You worried about Edomites. Right. <laughs> it's very sad. Okay. Back by the Lamentations. Yep. Okay. Lamentations. Chapter two. And verse 16, all thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. Come on. They hiss and gnash the teeth. They say, we have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we looked for. We have found, we have seen it. So, that's another thing that our, our men have to remove out of their spirits. You think we're mad. <laughs> stop playing stop playing game he said we're mad because <laughs> you got called out we're saying come on and let's discuss it then we're saying this is not the time we wasted enough time with him already we're saying this is not the time if you want to genuinely ask questions come on live everybody heard us you're the one playing games right you're the one playing games you know what block them block them answer a fool not according to his folly because at the end of the day, that's being foolish. I mean, here we hitting it. We hitting something serious here, and this man's playing games. It just shows you the maturity level. I mean, this is serious right here. We have we haven't even talking about no Edomites. We're talking about the what, a plight of our people. What's going on? And you sitting there playing. This ain't no. This is nothing to play with. Psalm one twenty two. It just goes to show you, we watching the comment boards. If you put something crazy in there, we will come at you. Exactly. This book of Psalms, chapter 122 and verse 6. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. It's, did it say pray for the Edomites? Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pr pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray, pray for the Israelites to make peace back with the Most High. Come on. They shall prosper. That love thee. They shall prosper that love thee. So if you understand to come back to who you are, the Lord can then also start making that. Pro the, the, the lead prosperity doctrine is for you to get the kingdom and rule over everything. How come they ain't teach you that? Haggai 2. Hag Haggai chapter 2 and verse 9. This is what our people, our people not realizing the, the hate that's within. It goes real deeper than what you can ever imagine. Hmm? Verse 9. Haggai chapter 2 and verse 9. Come on. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former. Come on. Said the Lord of hosts. The glory of the latter house is going to be greater than the former. The Lord got all the diversities in, in the nation and now the spirit of Christ. So it should be definitely greater. Come on. 
And in this place. And in this place, read. Will I give peace? Will I give peace? Is it peace right now? Come on. Save the Lord of hosts. Save the what? Save the Lord of hosts. Save the Lord of hosts. Come on to another video. Another video. Watch this, y'all. You think you you think you la ladies is exempt? The military hate you too. Come on. Issues with my airmen and my NCOs that are lower ranking with me, but they're black females, and black it pisses females. me the f off that they have no respect and constantly having an attitude. And what the is up with that like I'm trying my best to hold my professionalism with them but good God that they have no respect whatsoever stop let somebody might not realize what's going on okay so she's in an authoritative position in the military she's angry at the black women in the military because they they she's saying that they have no respect they don't respect her at all which shows you a little bit where she's detached at because they don't understand the plight of our people this is why you have to get together as a nation the nation will understand what, what's going on you don't know what's happening to those women you don't know what's going on back home you don't know what they have to do you don't know what they have to take care of but at the end of the day she's going oh i can't stand them because they don't respect me That goes to show you, folks, we got uh, a lot of folks in the organization that's, you know, in the militaries, and they'll tell you the same thing. All right? To make, to try to be better than who you are is nothing wrong with that. It can't come at the risk of you sacrificing your integrity for your people. It can't. The minute you do, then... All this type of stuff. This goes to show you the mentality behind it. Then people can say, oh, I'm outraged and all this other stuff. It make no difference. Hmm.